put you. It is now my honor and privilege to invite my distinguished Kotsa, my uncle, our speaker, who is the longest serving member of parliament, uh, continuous from 1993 when I was in class two. Mweshimiwa wetangula, makofi. Thank you, Governor. Your Excellency, our President, our Deputy President, all protocols as established followed. I'm here on the invitation of the Chairman of KYPA, and I salute young people of this country. I came to Parliament when I was eligible to be a member. I outgrew it and I'm still here. Allow me to acknowledge the young people in our parliament who do tremendous work. Kimani Ichungwa, I still consider you a very young person, a majority leader. Aaron Cheriot, majority leader in the Senate. Chief Whip Osoro, you are a young person. Chairman of committees. And I want to single out, Your Excellency, two young people that are doing a tremendous job. Dindi Nyoro, the chairman of budget, and Kuria Kimani, the member for Molo, the chairman of finance. Brilliant young people. You listen to them, and you see we have a future for this country. So as young people, I'm told you are from Iala, from the Senate, the National Assembly and our count assemblies. Don't be told the future is yours. Your future starts today. The space you occupy, you must use it fully to help change this country. All of us as members of our country must pick a leaf from our Savior Jesus Christ. He lived and worked actively for only three years and he was murdered at the age of 33. And today, the name Jesus makes every knee bent. Three years only. So it's not how long you lived, but how much you did in your life that matters. As Parliament, I have told your Chairman, we will support you in every way we can. Now that the Bunge Tower is open, we are going to renovate Continental House. I will avail you sufficient space to have your offices there so that you can be able to operate within the pressings of Parliament. The Parliamentary Square is now looking good. You can do your meetings uh, wherever you wish. And as Parliament, we will continue supporting you. What I finish with is that young people, this is your country. This country belongs to everybody. Don't be hoodwinked into any ethnic definitions and cocoons that can undermine our country. When you sit here today as a Kenyan and you hear somebody has been shot in Mandera, you feel the pain of that person because he's a fellow Kenyan. If you are told a typhoon has swept the Philippines, you will flip the newspaper and read on because you don't have that personal touch and affinity. Let's be each other's keeper. Let's be patriotic. Let's love our country. And above all, young people, focus on what brings this country together. Focus on what grows our economy. In parliament, in your count assemblies, in Iala, and everywhere. Let me finish by also telling you that when you listen to BBC, you listen to any international media houses, our president is defined as a young president in Africa. <laughs> Certainly, Mr. President, when you stand next to Museum Seveni, Muse Kakame, the president of Nigeria, the president of Eritrea, and many others, you still look like K-Y-P-A.
and together we shall mentor these young people we shall walk with you and we shall show you the ropes of how to live longer in this space it's now my duty to invite the deputy president to come and make his remarks and invite the president Your Excellency, our President, Dr. William Bruto, Right Honorable Speaker, the National Assembly, the leadership of the House, Honorable Members, good evening. It's a joy for me to be in the same room with our young legislators when I was informed that the President will be here tonight. I was very happy to join him because when I was in Form 3, and I was a student in biology. There were two processes, one called diffusion, another one called osmosis. The movement of molecules from low concentration to high concentration. When you get an opportunity to sit with young people, you feel more youthful. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> number two, I think, it's good 